Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hey guys. I just wanted to come on and tell you about the new layout that Cricut Design Space has now. So when you're inside of Cricut Design Space, on the far right side of your screen, you now have your little three dots with the um, file, view, and help. This information used to be on the left side of the screen instead of the right side. So if you're looking for it and you can't find it, this is where it is. So you click on the three dots and you could actually open up a new window or you could quit Cricut Design Space from here. Then you have your view option. This is where you can now reload, force reload or toggle full screen. And again, this used to be on the left-hand side and you also have your help, All right? In addition to that, if you click on the drop down arrow near your name, this is now where you'll be able to see your profile, notifications, and your settings. So if you need to change any of your Cricut Design Space settings, this is where you can do that. You also have access to the help here, as well as Cricut Access, your account, and you can also sign out here as well. As far as locating your projects that you've created, you still have that under the My Stuff, and then you will find all of your projects uh, and collections here on the left-hand side, all right? One of the questions I get asked a lot is, how can I delete um, projects that I no longer want in Cricut Design Space? And the answer to that question is, you would just take and click on the three little dots that you see here, and then you just click delete project and it will ask you for confirmation if you wanna really delete this project and you just select delete and that project is gone. And you could do the same thing with images that you have uploaded into Cricut Design Space. So if I were to go to new project here and go to upload and I see my images all out here, and if I wanted to delete any of these images, or if I don't see the image I'm looking for, I could click on view all. And then I will see all of the images out here. And to delete any of them, you just click on the three dots and say delete image, confirm the deletion. So that is how you delete images inside of Cricut Design Space. All right, so I wanted to jump on and talk about that. In addition, I wanted to also talk about when you're designing and you get that message that says your project is incompatible with Cricut Design Space and it won't let you proceed. So when you get those messages, normally you've brought an image in and you have that image sized at a size that is too large to print within Cricut or from Cricut Design Space. So example here is when I click on upload, and I actually bring my image in and click on Add to Canvas. When that image comes in, you can see right off the bat, there's the little exclamation um, mark. And if you actually click on it, it's going to tell you this image is too large for eight and a half by 11 in letter paper. We have detected that the max size for this shape is 7.38 by 7.38. And then you can actually auto resize or you can change your page size, all right? So if you click on auto size, it's going to put it down to a size that you can now print from Cricut Design Space, okay? However, if that's not what you want it to do and you really want it to print larger, then I'm going to show you what you'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this image and go back and bring it in again. 
And when it comes in large, if you click on the exclamation here on the right, you could say change paper size. And it's going to take you in, into your design space settings. And if your printer will allow you to print larger than eight and a half by 11, then you want to take and you want to change your print size to whatever the largest size that you can print inside um, uh, in your printer. So I'm going to choose 11 by 17 and say done. Now, the exclamation is still here. However, the sizing has changed. The sizing has now increased to a 9.93 .93 by 9.93. .93. So now when I say auto resize, I can print just a little bit larger than if I could only print up to an eight and a half by 11. But if your printer will allow you to print larger, Cricut Design Space now has where you can actually change your settings to accommodate the larger wide format printer that you might have. All right. All right, guys, that is it. I just wanted to come on really quickly and show you those things inside of Cricut Design Space. And if you're currently in my Facebook group, I want to thank you guys for supporting me via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, it is called Ken Doris' Cricut and Creative Crafters. It will be linked in the description of this video tutorial. All you have to do is click on that link and agree to the Facebook group rules and you're in. And if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing me teach or my tutorial for the first time and you like my method of teaching, I have over 500 video tutorials on all types of projects that you can do as a crafter. And uh, I would like for you to just um, click on the subscribe button to my YouTube channel and subscribe. All right. Also, please like and share if you know others that will benefit from seeing my video tutorials as well. All right. All right, guys, that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. You guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.